Hello, Mommy dearest. Mom, you home? Why not she be at work now? Well, usually, but she made it a big deal of me being at school for the first time and want to be here to greet me. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Maybe Taya went downstairs and got something to eat or something. Um, she's a room service kind of girl. It still weirds me out that you guys on a first name basis. I don't have to call her. No, Taya. it's it's cool. Mystery solved. Something came up, had to run out. Be home soon. Can't wait to hear about your first day at school. Love, Mom. That's nice. What? Something came up. <sighs> How much do you want to bet it's Todd Manning? What the hell are you talking about? You're supposed to give me a headline for the Marasco story. Well, what do you got? Are you serious? Lady of the Lake? You're an idiot. What else do you have? Nice queen, huh? Huh? I don't know. I don't know! Figure something out! Hey! Where you been? She's at the hospital. My niece was shot, remember? Yeah, so where's Taya? How would I know? Well, <laughs> she lives here, doesn't she? No, she doesn't. It's just you and me now. Hey, Sky, call me back as soon as you get this, okay? It's really important. Sorry about that. Thanks for coming by. No, you said it was urgent. It is. I need legal advice. What'd you do? Not me. My friend Skylar. He's in serious trouble. I mean, you don't have a baby, so Mom can't stay mad, right? Can't you two get back together? It's a no-brainer. Anastasia lying about the baby is what broke you and Mom up. It, w it wasn't just that. But it was the main reason. Once Mom finds out that you're not the father and that Skylar is, she'll dump him for sure. I mean, that, that's what matters, right? That we love each other? The truth is out now, but that doesn't have to change anything. It changes everything! How could it not? Because I believe in us! Don't you? just said it was too cold. That's because it was. I need it just right. What part of I was walking around Lantano Mountain without my boots didn't you get? The part about your not having your $2,000 boots. Pray tell what fate befell them. None of your damn business. Now, aren't you a butler, so why don't you butt the hell out of my life? I beg your pardon. Yeah, that's right. You better beg, or I'll have you and your holier-than-thou attitude throw it out on your ass. Who the hell do you think you're talking to? I know you want your mom and me to get back together. Okay, I want that too, but we can't get our hopes up. Why not? Because your mom's with Skylar now. Yeah, but not for long. Once she finds out that you're not the father and Skylar is, she's gonna dump him. She loves him, Shane. Don't be such a feminist, Dad. What? A feminist. Someone who always thinks that the worst is gonna happen. I'm spending too much time with Grandma. I am so glad to see the two of you. I've been searching high and low for you. I got big news. I want you to hear this, Shane. It's about Stacy's baby. It's not that. We already know. The whole time I thought Stacy was having Rex's baby. It killed me. The constant reminder that my sister and my boyfriend so I shut them out. I lost my sister. My best friend. I lost my family. 
And the only thing that made it okay was I thought I had you. You did have it. I thought you... I found something I always wanted, something simple and amazing and forever. You did. How? Because everything we had together is based on a lie. I trusted you. And and that whole time you knew Sierra was yours. I wasn't trying to hurt you, Gigi. But by not telling me that you made a baby with my sister? It's not like I wanted to. She drugged me. But that doesn't make it okay to pass your kid off as someone else's. Gigi, I wasn't thinking about any of that. I wasn't thinking anything other than I wanted to be with you. But you lied to me for months. I didn't tell you. Because I was afraid you wouldn't forgive me if you knew what happened. For what? For my sister drugging you? It was more than that. What does that, what does that mean? I don't know every what that means. Every time I was weak and insecure, every time I was upset about the baby or upset with Rex, you were there for me. I turned to you. And you use it. You and Stacy and come all three of you use that baby to rip my family apart. I thought I thought that the reason you and Rex split up was because you fell in love with me. And now you're telling me that the only reason, the only reason you turned to me was because she was carrying his child. It's a medicine vial. Why do you have a vial of oxytocin? It's not mine. It's Skylar's. I found it in his bag. Well, he's a doctor, isn't he? He's not a doctor. He's still in med school. So would he steal it? Why would someone steal a vial of oxytocin? You can't get high off the stuff, can you? I mean, it's possible, but I don't think he took it for himself. Hmm. I think it was meant for somebody else. I thought your mom said she and Todd were over. She also told me that another man was my father. She's not exactly known for telling the truth. You think she's lying? Well, she's all mopey all the time. It's obvious the only thing she cares about is Todd. Well, then why'd she pull you out of Star's apartment and make you move in here? She's a control freak. Well, she could have made you move in with her at your dad's. Yeah, but I run away in a heartbeat and she knows that. Yeah, but if all she cares about is your dad, then... Whose side are you on? I'm on yours. I just think you'd be a lot happier if you could learn to get along with your mom. Not gonna happen. Not until she sees Todd Manning for the true creep he really is. Taya left you? Who said she left me? Well, you're here alone and she's not. She said it wasn't working. Something about how she can't be Danielle's mother and be with me at the same time. What a bitch. Hasn't she ever heard of multitasking? I don't want to talk about my mom or Todd or their screwed up relationship anymore. It just makes me depressed. You want to do homework? Are you kidding? Yeah, that is kind of depressing too. <laughs> Besides, we've got this whole big hotel room all to ourselves. Yeah, so what do you want to do? That's what I like about you, Blair. You know that putting someone else down makes me feel good. <laughs> well, it's faster than a greeting card. Yeah? Mm-hmm. How about I return the favor? What are we, what are huh? we talking about? <laughs> I chose you because I fell in love with you. Because you showed me that I could count on you no matter what. You were there for me through my son's leukemia. Through Stacy's blackmail. Through everything I went through this past year. The only reason I survived all of that was because of you. But now it's like I don't know who you are. I'm the same guy that did all no, those things. No, you're not. The guy I fell for didn't have a baby girl. But if he did, he would have stepped up and claimed her. That man wouldn't have turned his back on her. This one did. Nigel, I am so sorry. 
I no. apologize for Kim's behavior. No need, sir. I trust Miss Natalie and Miss Jessica, all right? Yes, as well as can be expected, yes. Nigel, thank you. I've gotten it from here. Sorry I snapped at Where do you get off talking to Nigel like that? I didn't mean to. This is my house. Nigel works for me. I know. He is a trusted employee, while you, my friend, are little more than a house guest. Over the years, Nigel has done more for this family than you could ever imagine. And he will not be abused. Not by anyone. Least of all, by a thoughtless little girl with a mean streak. I said I'm sorry. Right now, this is the last thing I need. Both of my daughters are in the hospital facing God knows what future. And you are here abusing a trusted and innocent member of my household? I don't care how much you're worried about Stacy. Nothing gives you the right to act out like this. Stacy's dead. What? You already know about Stacy and the baby? came out last night. How'd you find out? Well, it's all over town. I certainly hope you let Stacy have it. Not exactly. Oh, don't tell me that you were easy on that skank. I mean, after everything she's done, after I found out, I went gunning for that wing nut, Kim, and I really cut her down to size, and I suggest that you do the same thing to Stacy. She's dead. What? She drowned last night. What, and the baby too? No, she gave birth before it happened. The baby's at the hospital with her father. So who's the baby's father? Skylar Joplin. Uh, well, uh, let me get this straight. Your roommate gets a girl pregnant, then helps her perpetrate the lie that it's another man's child, all to hold on to a girlfriend that might otherwise dump him. Right. Uh-huh. But the timing's off. The only way the lie holds up is if the baby is born prematurely. So, Skylar swipes this from the hospital to administer to his partner in crime? I mean, I don't know if that's exactly what happened. Okay, but you did find this empty vial in his bag after Greg told you that he showed up at the hospital with a premature baby? I know how this looks. I do. But Sky is a good person. Mm. I, he couldn't have gone through with it. There's no way he would have knowingly jeopardized a baby's life. I bet a few months ago you would have said he'd never knowingly deny paternity of his own child. Maybe you don't know this guy as well as you think you do. Okay, all right. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I messed up, but I honestly, honestly thought that I was doing the right thing for everyone. How was it right for me? Because I saw what you went through when Rex slept with your sister. I saw how much his betrayal hurt you. I saw how much you didn't want to look at him. You didn't want me to look at you the same way. No. You were thinking about what you wanted. What you needed. Not me. And definitely not that poor, sick baby. Gigi, I didn't want to give up the baby, but I didn't want to give up you either. What? Rex, Rex already made a commitment to Stacy and the baby before Your baby! Any... Your baby! I thought everything would be okay. okay. I thought... How? How is it okay to let Rex think that he was having a baby that wasn't his? Gigi. How is it okay to watch another man raise your child? Eli? Oh, what does Eli have to do with this? Oh, give me a break. You guys are doing it. I know you're doing why it. Why do you... Why do you keep on insisting... What are you talking about? I hear you. And Eli. You're loud together. Are you guys having sex? I know everything that goes on in this house. Okay. Fine. We're having sex. But that's all we're having, all right? That's all I want to have with you right now. No, no, there is. No us. You got it. Since when? 
Ma, don't you know that I know what's going on here? Look, I'm not going to be your blow-up doll to help you get over Taya Delgado. Since what are you... No, <laughs> stop. I've moved on, and I suggest you do the same. You want to have sex? Don't you? I just... Where is this coming from? It's coming from whatever that thing is that makes people want to have sex. I mean, you like me, right? Yeah. You think I'm okay looking? You're the hottest girl I've ever seen. Then what's the problem? Let's do it. I just... I'm not ready to have sex with you yet. Not like this, anyway. And to be honest, I really don't think you're ready to have sex with me, either. Coming up with reasons why I was doing the right thing. I told myself that, that Rex and Stacy would find a way to make it work with the baby. I told myself that you and I were in love and, and we'd be together forever and we'd have kids of our own someday. And what would happen to the baby that you already had? I thought I could keep an eye on her. From a distance, I already knew Rex was a good dad. I thought he'd do right by Sierra Rose, too. And besides, I'd always be nearby if anything bad ever Something happened. Something bad did happen, Skylar. She almost died on that mountain because of you. Assuming everything we said was true, that Sky did steal the oxytocin from the hospital and used it to help this girl have the baby early, what kind of trouble would he be in? Well, it depends on the baby's condition. I'm not sure. All Greg said was that Sky came into the hospital with a preemie. Worst case scenario, if the baby is in crisis, or if, God forbid, the baby dies, if Skylar gave the mother that drug to deliver the baby early, he could be facing murder charges. I was so relieved to find Stacy at that cabin safe. It, she was sore and tired. She had just given birth, but... My girl was okay. And the baby she was being taken to the hospital was a total miracle. You should have seen this cabin. I have. It belongs to my ex-wife, Vicky, so I've been there plenty of times. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just... Just no place to give birth. Right. Certainly not in the middle of a snowstorm. But she did it. Because Stacy's a survivor. Because she can do anything. Oh. You don't have to do this right now. I left her for one second. Just one second, and when I came back, she was gone. But she was so worried about the baby, she went out to look for her, and then she ended up falling through a frozen lake. By the time I got there, she was gone. My best friend is dead, and it's all my fault. It's not your fault. Yes. It was an accident. No, you don't know everything. So this is how it's gonna go. You're gonna get your hands on some oxytocin. You're gonna give it to Stacy. We're all gonna live happily ever after. If I had done things differently, Stacy might never have gone up that mountain in the first place. Now listen to me. Stacy did not just go up that mountain. Mitch Lawrence kidnapped her. I know, but. What? Whatever it is, Kimberly. You can tell me. Skylar Joplin knocked Stacy up after I gave a roof to that evil snake. He goes after Gigi. Wait a minute. Did anyone tell Gigi? Yeah, she knows. Hallelujah, I feel like dancing. Bring your squeeze back home. That's what I said, but he won't listen. Right, well, what is the matter with you? Come on, you gotta listen to me. He's smart. He's smarter than you are. Go bring your girl back home. You... You knew that psychopath Mitch Lawrence wanted Rex's baby for himself. Oh. He wouldn't have wanted anything to do with Sierra Rose if he found out she wasn't his grandchild. He would have left Stacy alone. How could you? Oh, how could you knew and you didn't stop it? How could you do this? How could you keep quiet? How could you?
you put your baby's life in danger, huh? You let this happen to Stacy! My sister is dead because of you! I don't know if I can say it. Whatever it is you think you did, you can tell me. I let Stacy out of my sight. She was a grown woman. I was fresh off childbirth and totally out of it. Stacy would still be alive if I had it. Okay, okay. I am not going to stand here and let you blame yourself for Stacy's death because it's not true. And it certainly won't bring her back. And now, you have something far more important to focus on. Stacy's baby. What do you mean? Well, that little girl is now going to rely on you. Tell her all the wonderful things about her mother. It's not fair. I know it's not. Stacy's baby should be growing up with Stacy, not hearing about her from me. Now she'll only have my word that her mother wasn't a total bitch. Okay, sometimes Stace was a total bitch, but there was more to her than that. And anybody who took two minutes to see Pastor Pacey's and her G-string knew that. Stacy fell in love with Sierra Rose. Nobody knew it but me. What? What are you waiting for? It's not like Stacy's hanging around. And Mom's not gonna want Skylar anymore. Just to stop, okay? We all want Gigi back, but she just lost her sister. And her niece is having an operation that could kill her. What? What's wrong with the baby? It's her heart. She's got a rare defect that's making her really sick. But they're going to fix her, right? Well, they're going to do everything they can. But you understand, right now is not the time for me to get into Gigi's face. Why not? I mean, it's not like you have to give her a hard sell about the two of you being together, which, you know, you're a perfect couple, but listen, she needs a shoulder to lean on, so she shouldn't be waiting on that baby alone. She's not. Who's she with? Skylar? Just what mom needs. Can you watch Shane? No, no, no. You, you go and you find her. I'm good here. Totally. Dad. When you see mom... Tell her I'm sorry about Aunt Stacy. I will. Stacy would be alive if you had told the truth. You're right. You think so? What happened to Stacy and Sierra Rose, that's all on me. Why didn't you say anything? Because I was scared of losing you. Me was worth all this? Having you made my messed up life feel like it mattered. My addiction cost me everything, Gigi. I lost my friends. I lost years with my mother. I could have been a doctor by now. I could have been somebody that people look up to. And instead, I pissed it all away. But you turned it around, Because Scott. of you! you. Because of you! You made my life feel like it was worth the damn. Falling in love with you made me feel real, like I was alive and awake, and like my life mattered. You did that. But you didn't trust me enough to tell me the truth. I know when I found out Stacy was carrying my baby, I panicked. I panicked, and all I, all I could see was that I might lose you. Instead, you nearly lost your child. I didn't see the gift Stacy was offering me. I didn't. I didn't realize my mistake until it was too late. Sky. But I, but I did figure it out. And if I can figure me out, then we can figure us out. It's too late. Don't say that. I can't. Don't even look at you. I just have to be with the baby now. I, I want to help Sky, but I, I don't know what to do. Well, that's why you hired a smart lawyer. Let me take care of it. How? Well, 
To prove a crime, the police need hard evidence. And if they have it, they can charge Skylar with murder. Well, first of all, we don't know if he gave the drug to the mother. We don't know the baby's condition. All this proves is that Skylar stole this from the hospital. But without this, all we have is a vague accusation. So what am I supposed to do with it? Let me take care of it. You. Yes, me. It's safer than trying to hide it around here someplace where Greg will find it. Okay, okay, okay. I'll keep it safe. I promise, okay? Keep me apprised of any um, further developments and uh, a little unsolicited advice. If you want things to work out with Greg, this will be the last secret you keep from him. Take it from me. Trust me, I'm ready. Why would I ask if I wasn't? I don't know. I just think there's something else going on here. Can't you just take your clothes off already? What? Look, what are we waiting for? I like you, I trust you, we're friends, and I'd rather do it now with someone I know and like than wait around and risk it being with someone that I don't. What does that mean? It means I want to do it with my friend and be a, a helpless victim to some slime like Todd Manning. What the hell is this, Blair? I, I offer you everything you've been scheming for for the last few months, and you tell me to get it on with someone else. It's work for me. I'm not you. Well, you know what, Todd? Maybe you should try it. I'm not gonna jump my lawyer. That's what got me into this mess in the first place. Well, you know, find a friend with benefits. I have to find a friend first. Oh, poor Todd. Stranger things have happened. As long as that friend isn't me. Why not? Because that window of opportunity has been slammed and bolted shut. I had to let you go just to keep my own sanity. So far, so good. Look, Todd, I'm sorry that you're hurting, okay? What do you want me to say? It sucks that uh, Taya strung you along, made you jump through hoops just to keep you hanging yet again? I'm through with her. No, you're not. But you know what? I can't help you out this time. Someone has to break this cycle, which is why I actually came in here in the first place. The boys and I are moving out. Way to twist the knife in me, Blair. You leave me right after Taya. That's great. You know what? This isn't about you. It's about the kids. Our kids? You mean yours and mine? They're safe now. There's no reason for them to stay here and hunker down behind your security now that Dorian has fired Lowell and Mitch Lawrence is in custody. It's time to take the boys home. You mean the Dorians? Was it really that bad living here? Oh, you mean my, for my own personal growth? Yes. I see. So... So banging Eli and living with your trigger-happy aunt, that's the way to move forward. Well, it certainly beats uh, playing second fiddle to Taya. Del got to be a hoe. I told you that I'm over Taya. No, you're not. And you know what? You might want to rethink that anyway, seeing as how she is Danny's mother. I'm not going to get anywhere with Danny. She thinks I'm evil. <laughs> well, you're not going to prove otherwise moping around here. God, is that what you're thinking? That you're gonna end up like Cole's mom? How could I not think about it? I mean, every time I think about my father, I think about what he did. I just... I just thought that maybe if my first time was with someone as amazing as you, if I just got it out of the way, that, that I could stop thinking about, you know... Daniel, what happened that made you want to do this? It's this stupid. No, it's not. Nothing about you is stupid. Well, Star kept introducing me at school as her sister, and someone overheard, and later in the halls, this girl was telling this other girl how I was the rapist's daughter. I wish I would have been there. I would have set them straight. How? It's not like it's a lie. But you're not what your dad did. You're you. You're Danny Rayburn. I just want to get what Todd did out of my mind. I 
I know you do. I don't think having sex is going to help you. Then how? Then what do I do? How do I get this nightmare to stop? I don't know. I, I just think it's going to take a long time for you to accept what your dad did and move on. And you have to be okay with that. I don't know what I'd do without you, Matthew. No one's ever gotten me like you. Sorry about the boots. I know they must have cost a fortune. Don't worry about that. I just kept thinking about Stacy under all that ice. I had to leave him for her just in case she got out, you know? I know it sounds so stupid, but... Doesn't sound stupid at all. Sounds hopeful. And don't worry about the boots. We'll get you another pair. So how are Jessica and Natalie? Natalie is going to be just fine. Jessica, on the other hand, has a very long road ahead of her. I'm so sorry. Why are you doing this for me? Because I want to. Grandma, can I ask you a question? Yeah, shoot. Did you ever love Mitch? Not for a second. Then why did you guys have a baby? I don't get it. Neither do I. But as much as I hate that sicko, I don't care. Because I got you and Rex in the bargain. And you're worth it. You're going to be just fine, Sierra Rose. You're a fighter. Just like your mama. And if she could be here with you, she would. She loves you so much. And so do I. Your auntie's here. And I'm not going anywhere. Taking her to VOR now for surgery. Will you be coming with us? No, I'll wait. I'll wait here. I'm so, do you mind if I have a moment with my daughter? Of course. Boy, I've really made a mess of things. And now you're suffering because of it. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I hurt you. I wish I could take it back. I wish... I wish I could take away all your pain. But I can't. I love you so much. And I'll never, ever stop. guy might have done it with me and made things worse. Well, you know, turning you down wasn't exactly the easiest thing in the world to do, but it just didn't feel right. But I'm hoping someday I will. Count on it. Suddenly someone means more than you felt before. A house and its yard turns into Oh 
this alone. I thought you could use a friend.